question for you. How many times a day do you click to open a file? Do you trust that simple action? You click on that zipped archive, you extract the documents, and you move on with your day. But what if I told you that the innocent little application you use every single day to handle those files, the one that's been on your computer for maybe two decades, is actually the silent killer? What if a single mouse click could let a sophisticated hacker from halfway across the world install a persistent Trojan right into your system's critical startup folder? Think about it. We're talking about one of the most widely used utilities on the planet, WinRAR, and it had a zero-day vulnerability that was letting nation-state attackers and advanced threat groups walk right in. This isn't theoretical. This is actively being exploited right now. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. So back to the massive problem, a file archiver, a foundational piece of software was actively being leveraged to compromise organizations. The flaw officially tracked as CVE 2025-6218 is a high severity path traversal vulnerability. This isn't your grandma's virus. This attack is highly targeted and incredibly effective. Think of a WinRAR archive as a secure box. When you extract files, they should all stay inside the box, right? The core issue here, a CWE22 error, is that WinRAR failed to properly check the file names inside the archive. They simply built malicious archives that forced WinRAR to use what's called a directory traversal technique. By using paths that pointed outside the intended extraction folder, like repeatedly jumping up the folder tree, they were able to drop their payload. This tricked the utility into extracting the bad file outside the safe box, allowing it to be written into any location on your drive that the user running WinRAR had permission for. Where do these malicious files get dropped? The most common target was a sensitive system location, like your Windows startup folder, or even Microsoft Word's global template path, normal.m. Dropping a malicious file here means the code executes automatically, giving the crook remote code execution, RCE, the very next time you log in or open Word. Boom, they have persistence and control. Now, before we dive into who's using this against you, I wanna ask you a quick favor. Please leave a comment right now. It is truly my favorite thing and the best compliment you can ever give me. Let me know if you've checked your company's WinRAR version yet. When a vulnerability is this easy to weaponize, the world's most sophisticated hacking groups jump on it immediately. This zero day wasn't just found by a script kitty, it was actively being leveraged by multiple advanced persistent threat actors for espionage and data theft. Groups like Bitter, also known as APTC08, were observed deploying a C-sharp Trojan specifically for key logging and stealing credentials from governments in South Asia. It's a recurring story. Story. Russian groups like Gamaradan were also caught using this exact flaw in spear phishing campaigns, specifically targeting Ukrainian military and governmental entities. It shows how quickly these vulnerabilities move from a bug report to a tool of state-sponsored conflict. The exploit was so hot it was even being sold on the dark web by a user named Zero Player for others to weaponize. This is how you know it's serious. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, added CVE 2025-6218 to its known exploited vulnerabilities catalog. When CISA puts out a deadline, like the one they gave federal agencies to patch by December 30th, you know this is a widespread, active, and proven threat. After 25 years in software development, I can tell you that the most important security control is often the simplest. Update your stuff. Here's the kicker. WinRAR doesn't automatically update itself. If you're running any version of WinRAR 7.11 or earlier, you are vulnerable. You must go manually download and install the update. The fix for this specific path traversal vulnerability came out in version 7.12. You need to jump on this right now. If you think this is a one-off, think again. Just a month later, another similar WinRAR path traversal vulnerability CVE 2025-8088 was discovered and exploited by the RomCom group. The latest version, 7.13 Beta 1, handles both both of these critical flaws, highlighting a disturbing pattern in this critical piece of software. My team and I specialize in this kind of penetration testing, identifying these hidden flaws before the attackers do, so if you're worried about what else might be lurking in your custom software, you know where to find us. Check out StartupHackSecurity.com. So what's your take on this vulnerability? Think this could be a major issue? I really enjoy engaging discussions, so drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe because at Startup Hack, we're passionate about helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out today and let us help. Check out startuphacksecurity.com.